Hi friends, I am Dr. Thomas Joseph, consultant physician and diabetologist, Karma Medical Center, Pala. Today I am going to speak about diabetes and insulin, the types of insulin. As we all know, insulin is a wonderful drug used in the treatment of type 1 diabetes and also in, uh, <coughs> for acute control of diabetes. Most common insulin used in our practice, as we all know, in common people uh, that we are using is premixed insulin. That is both long and short acting mix. That is, in the market, there are so many brands are there 70 by, by 70 bar 30, 50 bar 50. That is the ratio. The long acting may be 70%, the short acting may be 30. That is called 70 bar 30 insulin. Then the long acting and the short acting insulin is mixed and as in 50 50 proportion. That is called 50 bar 50 insulin. This are the, this is the most common insulin used in a <coughs> routine clinical practice. There is a dosage is morning. That is two third of this insulin, premix insulin. 70 bar 30 insulin should be given as in the morning, and the one third, the remaining one third should be given in the evening. This insulin, that is the premix insulin, 70 bar 30 or 50 bar 50. This should be given. 10 to 15 minutes before the uh, breakfast or dinner because it, it is usually given in the subconscious this is intradermal and under the skin it takes 10 to 15 minutes to enter the blood enter the circulation and uh, takes some 10 minutes to uh, 10 to 15 minutes to act to control blood sugar so uh, usually uh, uh, we have to take insulin before 10 to 15 minutes before the food the second type of insulin is rapidly anti insulin that is regular insulin this regular insulin is also we are we are some people are taking the but its dose is morning noon and evening that is three times daily because the action time of this insulin is four to six hours so we have to if you are taking planning to take to take breakfast at eight o'clock you have to take insulin by 7 30 or 7 45 then by noon uh, you can check the uh, your blood sugar or without checking you can give another dose of insulin by 12 12 30 and you can take your uh, lunch after the evening also before dinner you are planning dinner for eight o'clock so you have to take another dose for 7 30 that is three times daily so the number of ingestions will increase by using regular insulin regular insulin are usually used in uh, chronically ill patients that is sick, uh, chronic kidney disease patients and some other patients that is the insulin um, <coughs> secretion from the kidney is decreased so in the insulin level in the blood will decrease so if you are giving long acting insulin that will act for a long time that will cause hypoglycemia Insulin, the only side effect of insulin is the most common side effect is it will cause hypoglycemia. So we should be careful in giving elderly patients. And if you are giving a critical ill patients or if a patient is taking a small quantity of food and if, he, if she is taking regular insulin or uh, mixer premixed insulin that will cause hypoglycemia. So the most important thing is to avoid hypoglycemia in a patient taking this insulin. Then the other type of insulin are analog insulins. That is analog insulin, most, uh, most rapid acting and short acting insulin is LISP1 insulin, LISP1, then comes insulin glosolin, then comes insulin LISPRO. These are the three common insulin aspart, insulin glosolin, and insulin LISPRO. These are uh, widely available in, um, <coughs> in our country. These are the main uh, uh, importance, main significance of this short tighting analog is it will never cause hypoglycemia because its half life is also four to six hours. Then comes the analog, long acting analogs. Uh, under this comes two uh, insulins that is insulin dead tumor and insulin glargin. Glargin is a wonderful insulin. It is a basal insulin. It can be given as a single dose at any time of the day with or, uh, before food or after food 24 it, it will act for 24 18 to 24 hours and it will never cause hypoglycemia so in a basal bolus regime or in a, uh, if a patient wants to use a single insulin we will advocate to use this insulin glargin insulin glargin is the one of the fourth that is fourth um, uh, most widely <coughs> uh, sailed drug 
that is insulin worldwide so glargine has negligible side effects that is it can be used at any time that it can be used by professionals that is working executives traveling persons uh, if you are going to some other place you can use uh, a, take your injection using a, a, a glargine pen it will never cause hypoglycemia slowly it will light and control the blood sugar uh, there are so many combinations that is with the short acting and long and long acting and long are always combined and for better result it is also available in the market so the common people usual people uh, coming to our uh, routine practice we will give this premixed insulin then some persons will uh, in a, uh, chronic disease patient cardiac failure patients that is hepatic failure we will advocate to take regular insulin that is rapidly acting short acting insulin because to prevent hypoglycemia the analog insulin is the most common advantage is it never cause hypoglycemia so it is a uh, it, uh, the only disadvantage it is more costly than compared to the premix insulin that is a routine insulin so we can either take this regular insulin the number of injections will be increased or we can you um, select this premix insulin or we can switch on to newer analog insulin that is a little bit costly um, the, uh, the main the most common and the main side effect about insulin is it causes hypoglycemia so we should take uh, uh, always stay, be careful in taking insulin uh, only um, we are planning to take a uh, food or breakfast or dinner you will um, uh, you, you will take injections of insulin otherwise it will cause if you are not planning to take food only a small drink or only a two glass water and don't take insulin you skip the yeah, dose of insulin otherwise it will cause hypoglycemia early morning hypoglycemia or night time you will get a severe if you are in the delay in taking the food that is if your uh, lunch you are planning to take uh, after 2 pm 3 pm also your morning dose you have to decrease the dose otherwise uh, by 12 pm you will get, uh, get symptoms of hypoglycemia will appear that is you, uh, you will develop sweating you will get tachycardia you will get uh, dizziness so many headache and so many feelings so uh, always should take short meals frequent meals short frequent short meals if you are planning to take insulin that will never cause hypoglycemia if you have got any queries any doubts or you have any comments please uh, post in the chat box i am uh, ready to answer uh, to that thank you we can see in the next video